last time on World War Z. Brad Pitt and director Mark Forster went through a well-documented feud, leading to extensive reshoots and an out-of-control budget. Can Brad Pitt save this film from bad word of mouth and a ton of production problems? Find out today on World War Z. World War Z is directed by Mark Forster and stars Brad Pitt, or the Liam Neeson of the UN, as this movie portrays him to be. He's the guy with all the skills. You never really know exactly what it is that he does. He's just really good in the field, he's clever, and he's smart, and he's not afraid of zombies. So they sent him out into the zombie apocalypse to try to figure out exactly how it started and how they can stop it. Now, it's been very well documented that this movie went through a ton of problems during its production. They had to reshoot large portions of this movie because they saw the way it was going and they decided that they didn't like the way the film was going. The direction it was taking was this heavy political message and they felt it was too convoluted and they decided to make a fun summer action film which in my opinion probably saved this movie because World War Z actually is a fun film to watch. I had an enjoyable time with World War Z despite my incredible shock because I really didn't think this movie looked that great. That being said the movie does have issues though and a lot of them are around the story structure and you can really kind of feel that this movie did have a lot of overhauls and a lot of things were cut out and changed and altered. A lot of the movie does feel a little bit strange and cut up like certain things have been placed that weren't there and now they kind of shifted a few things around but remarkably the movie actually holds up fairly well and Brad Pitt is one of my favorite actors and I think he did a really good job in this movie portraying the character as this stoic badass type but at the same time he was protective of his family when he needed to be and even though that is a very common character I think that he did a good job with it and you could kind of look beyond the Brad Pitt thing. Because when a star gets to a point where he's so famous, it's difficult for him to portray a character. Like Tom Cruise, I know, faces that similar issue where he it's hard not to see Tom Cruise. And Brad Pitt, sometimes it, it's hard not to see Brad Pitt. But I think Brad Pitt does a pretty good job in this movie. And he really has to hold up the whole movie because he is the star of the movie. And he really is the star of this movie. I mean, there are supporting characters that drift in and out of the scenes, but Brad Pitt has this whole movie on his shoulders. It really seems like it should have been a rated R movie. Because you can tell that a lot of the more grotesque or intense moments were blocked away by certain things or hidden from camera, and I don't really have a problem with that. I just feel like this movie would have benefited from an R rating. I think that they improved the CGI quite a bit from that first initial trailer that just looked like a cartoon, really. And in that way, I was very pleased because that first trailer, it really just looked like cartoon zombies were coming after Brad Pitt, and I'm glad they were able to fix that. I can't really get into one of my main issues with the film because it is a major spoiler, so I'll get my way around it without spoiling it. Certain ways the film concluded just felt too simple and like, really? Okay. That's all I can really say without spoiling it for you, which I don't want to do. World War Z does have story and structure issues. There's barely any character development. You really just get the one opening scene where Brad Pitt and his family are eating breakfast. I thought World War Z was an enjoyably fun movie. There isn't much else to it really except the big zombie action set pieces that are entertaining to watch but doesn't have much else to offer besides that. I think my favorite scene in the movie was the set piece that was not shown in any of the trailers at this health facility which I thought was really well done and a lot of fun. Really intense, a lot of suspense, sneaking around, you know, holding an axe through a hallway. Very cliched zombie stuff, but I eat that stuff up when it's done well. I love that, eat that stuff up. That's a zombie pun that I did not mean to make. So overall, despite some story flaws and obvious reshooting and restructuring of the film that you can kind of tell is there and is apparent, I enjoyed World War Z, and I'm going to give it a B. So thanks as always for watching, guys. I'm interested in knowing what you guys thought of the movie, too, if you'd like to comment below. Thanks again, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.